What is the difference between command versus shell Ansible module? These two Ansible modules are confused one for another, but they are fundamentally different. Both modules allow you to execute command on a target host, but in a slightly different way. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. The command and shell Ansible module execute command on a target system. Generally speaking, it's always better to use a specialized Ansible module to execute a task. However, sometimes the only way is to execute a Linux command via command or shell module. Let me reinforce again, you should avoid as much as possible to the usage of command shell instead of a better module. But what if the module doesn't exist? Well, you need to end it up using this. So both modules execute commands on a target node, but in a sensible different way. The command module execute commands on a target machine without using the target shell. It simply execute the command. The target shell is for example the popular bash, z shell or burn shell. As a side effect, user environment variable expansion, output redirection, stringing two command together with pipe and other stuff and uh, other shell feature are not available. On the other side, every command executed using shell module has all shell feature, so it could be expanded in a runtime. From the security point of view, command module is more robust and has a more predictable outcome because it bypasses the shell. Both module returned always changed status because Ansible is not able to predict if the execution has or has not altered the target system. The command module is the default module in Ansible ad hoc mode. Command module is able to execute only the binary on remote host. The command module won't be impacted by local shell variable because it bypasses the shell. At the same time, it might not be able to run shell built-in feature and redirection. The shell Ansible module is potentially more dangerous than the command module and should only be used when you actually really need the shell functionality. So if you are not stringing two command together using pipes or even just and and or comma, no, maybe column, you don't really need the shell module. Similarly, expanding shell variable or file globs require the shell module. If you are not using this feature, don't use the shell module. Sometimes it's the only way. I know. Demo time. Let me show you two different Ansible playbook that highlight the difference between command and shell Ansible module in an Ansible playbook. Are you ready to have fun? Let's go! First of all, let's begin with command module. Let's begin our Ansible playbook with three dash and one play name command module demo. That is target host all of my inventory. On the task list, only one name. For example, check uptime. Do you want to check uptime of your server using Ansible built in shell? No, not shell. Damn it we are going to use a command module. 
let me correct here we go what's the exact uh, command line uptime and i'm going to save on command underscore output variable now what we could do with this variable well we can print it out on screen for example so command output here we go using ansible built-in dot debug the standard way to print it out variable on screen and the variable is command underscore output dot uh, for example standard output std out underscore line here we go we execute a command on the target host we save the result in a variable and we print it out on screen yes we can use also in the ansible code as we wish but it's easy to use like this let's move on to the terminal to have fun welcome in my terminal first of all let me execute the code using ansible dash playbook let me specify also my inventory file with dash e and then uh, the uptime yml let me confirm that i would like to execute this code and here we go we have changes status and the uptime of our machine that was only eight minutes so the command was executed on the target host and we have on screen the result of the command done back on my editor this time one example with a shell module so let's begin our yaml document with three dash and one play name shell module demo that is going to target host all of my inventory and on the task list this time let's make something more funny for example list file and folder in the current directory so list files and no folders okay here we go we are going to execute ansible.builtin.shell and the exact command is ls-l and then star this is the difference between the previous command we can't use star with command so let me register on command output and as before let me print it out on screen this variable command output here we go ansible.builtin.debug variable command output dot std standard output line here we go we execute the command on the target host we save the result and we display on screen execution will be very fast ansible playbook dash e my inventory file and my ansible playbook this time i'm expecting a list of files on the current directory and here we have we have only example.shell file owned by devops great and change the status as expected so shell's module worked back on my editor what if we substitute shell with command what could happen we are going to see in just one minute back on the console let me execute this new ansible playbook let me remind you that we just substitute command shell module with command and boom we have a big error because we are trying to use a star but command module didn't know what is star so now we are facing the reality now you know the differences between command and shell and symbol module and their use case 
Thank you for watching this lesson. See us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.